you, Francis, for, for letting us drop in. Um, French bulldogs are not necessarily what people no. will associate no. with you with. Tell our, us a bit about your history in dogs. Well, our very first breed were Great Danes. Yeah. Then, I don't know why, really, we bought ourselves a giant schnauzer bitch. I said to Jack at the time, oh, they'll never take the place of the Great Danes. <laughs> but they took over somehow. Yeah. And, you know, we were very successful with them. So Very successful indeed. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> Across the best in children. Yes, yeah, very proud of that. Very proud. Um, so how exactly have French Bulldogs come about? Well, that's funny. We were very, very friendly with a, a young man called Tom Kentish. We lived nearby and he started with French Bulldogs. And we absolutely loved them. And uh, we got one of his French Bulldog puppies. And that was 30 years ago now. And I've always had them, bred litters, yeah. but they were always on a different day. But uh, we've got older now. We've decided to downsize. And what was it that attracted you to the breed? Oh, fantastic personalities. Great family dogs. I wouldn't say they're the best guard dogs in the world. <laughs> <laughs> they're quite welcoming, you know, come in everybody. But um, they do something that makes you laugh every day, <laughs> guaranteed. And I love the look of them. <laughs> I love that squashed face. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a few things going on in French yeah. Bulldogs at yeah. the moment, one of which is the issue of colour. Breeders would like a change to the standard to, to clarify. Yes. Can yeah. you explain a bit further? Yeah. Uh, at the moment, the clubs have got together and there is a motion to accept what is called the fawn pied. You know, it's the white background, but with fawn patches. But... It's the blues, black and tans, chocolates, that really are just a no-no. Years ago, apparently, one or two blues cropped up, but breeders, you know, pass them on as pets with no papers, not to be bred from. But of course, I suppose one or two have cropped up, having been bought for mega money. And there's, <coughs> there's a, a, perhaps a branding issue. These strange colours are being suggested as, as rare colours. Absolutely. Rather than incorrect. Absolutely. And the, the problem, I think one, a big problem is the fact that the Kennel Club do register them. Although they're unrecognised colour, they register them. So that's really a seal of approval. Yeah, and the French Bulldog some years ago was, was incredibly popular, obviously in France. Can you explain to us its original purpose? They came down from the Bulldog, right. the little small ones, and they say they were around Nottingham with lace makers and the, you know, that trade. But when the Industrial Revolution came and machines took over, a lot of those people went to France right to continue their work and took these little dogs with them. Right. And then some of them had the prick ears and the French really took on to that. And that was the French bulldog. And it's always said that fashion comes back around uh, and the French somewhat oh. proves that. Um, yes. Back in the late 1800s, the French bulldog um, or its predecessors in France were incredibly popular. Yes, yeah. Um, the breed, however, became fairly unpopular again. Mm. But just in the last Ten years. Explosion. Um, yeah, Th there were yeah. only three hundred and fifty registers in two thousand and four. In two thousand and thirteen, just shy of seven thousand. Yeah. That, that you can't difference. believe it, can you? No. And we're three quarters of the way through two thousand and fourteen, and there are more registered now than there were in the whole of last year. Is that even healthy? It's it's not good for the breed. It's a shame. A lot of them are good, um, bred by, you know, decent breeders. Because they are, you can see why they're popular. They're so lovely to live with, such personalities. But we have had an influx of whole litters being brought into the country from Eastern Europe. Right. Um, underage, some of them. I know some of them have had to end up going into quarantine. Puppy buyers should be patient. I know it's difficult because when we wanted our very first dog, I had to have it yesterday. So I do understand that. <laughs> But you're not going to find one round the corner on the date that you think you want it. Yeah. So what is it that you look for in a French Bulldog puppy? Well, the parents are important. Um, heads are important. The first thing you look at on a dog of any breed is the head. They've got to be cobby puppies. They're lumpy, a lumpy breed. I know that sounds a funny word to use, but they have that slight roach. Um, they should be short. With good bone, although they're fairly small, they're quite a hefty breed. 
I like to watch them running around. I start watching them from five, six weeks onwards and uh, I've usually got a pretty good eye. <laughs>